Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into this week's edition of the Escape Podcast. And we are very, very, very excited to bring you this week's show. And they released a whole bunch of information, a lot of fun. And Biscuit Weasel, right off the bat, thank you for the 100 bits. We do appreciate that. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, bud. All right. So, um, Lama, what, how are you? Uh, you, you are, you are my co-host every single week. You, you sit right here on the microphone and you talk to the, I know. love it. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited to get mine. It, it, it's sitting there along with, um, let's see. I also have, that'll be going in the box. The brick tape. Brick tape. Got the brick tape. And I've got two movies from the eighties for you. Awesome. I'm very excited. I'm to, still uh, looking for a copy my... of Ghostbusters. Okay. So I could probably find it. I'm sure you could find it, but it is my gift to you. Well, thank you. So you much. can learn about the eighties that you As were not a part of. I was, I was. <laughs> so my, I was born Burn in Toasties. 1989 and I was born on December 27th in 1989. So I am an eighties baby for four days. It counts. <laughs> Okay, fine. Fine, you were around for, for the end of the 80s. Yes, the very the severe part, end The part the that 80s. 80s children don't talk about. <laughs> yes. Ah, they're yes. telling me I have more echo going on right now. Oh, no. All right, there. I've turned her down as much as I can, Seth. Thank you for letting me know. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully that won't... Uh, uh, go ahead and talk for me, Llama. Uh, okay, well, I'll answer a question in chat then. Uh, Biscuit said he liked my tattoo. Uh, I'm assuming he means the BB-8 one. Uh, and no, it is not new. It's it's fairly old, actually. But I'm, like, ready for another one. Well, once you have one, you got to get, like, a bunch of Oh, more. yeah, I've got a bunch of them. Like, I've got, like, here. I've got one here. I've got one here. <laughs> I've got, like, all down here. This one. Well, since we're showing off ink, I've got Mrs. Anthony beating cancer right here. Yep. You know, because you know we've we've got we've got Miss Pac-Man eating the ghost, but of course I have regular Pac-Man right there. So, <laughs> and then I have my son's name and birth date right here, which you guys won't see. Nope, that's fine. I don't, it's okay. But uh, it looks like I sound uh, a little bit better, which is good. Yeah. So. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in to, uh, to this, week's, uh, this week's edition of the Escape Pod, Cast Lego Legacy Edition. Um, and uh, once again, Burn Toasties, thank you very, very much for the follow. All right. Well, um, we're not going to get to the main course. Let's, let's start with an appetizer. Appetizer. Let's start with the appetizer. And that appetizer was that we got Yeti back. Yes, we did get Yeti back, which is awesome. I'm, I'm very excited that he, he's, this is now the third time in the overall life of the game he's been back. Second, for those of us who were not in the, you know, kind of soft launch, who got him a little bit of a, a ahead of time. He was a little bit of a, a holiday season present for them before the game went live. But, um, but yeah, and I still probably will not be uh, unlocking him or else getting him very far. Yeah, it's, um, I think I'm just going to get to the unlock, because he did come out right at the beginning. He came yeah. out right at the beginning of the game, just before you did. Um, so it was, it was released. You know, yeah. I wasn't in, in any sort of uh, pre-download or anything like that. No. Uh, Burn Toasty were. says they only need 15 tiles of Yeti. I'm nice. very excited for you. That's awesome. I, I think I'm going to be right where you are, Paul, like right around that like unlocked point. Um, but I'm not like going crazy. It's not going to be like a, a basil because we got stuff coming that I'm more excited about than than Yeti. So <laughs> that that is absolutely true. You know, we we're going to uh... allocate my little pennies over to <laughs> to the next one. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's it is a brick pace event. Which uh, we yep. are going to definitely need to get used to. Um, mm -hmm. Well, not yeah. this style of brick pace event, but we'll, we will get to that. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, so Yeti's back. Um, like I said, I'm not. Uh, I don't really think that I'm gonna to get him. I, I might just get him to the unlocked. I'm going in and I'm using the energy and making sure that I don't waste it and make the most of it. But um, I'm not super concerned about like farming his tiles. I haven't even farmed his tiles from the store. I've been. What do I spend event currency on, Paul? You know it. it Ability materials. That's what yeah. I spend my event currency on. You're you're you're, <laughs> an, ab you're an ability mat person. <laughs> because I need it. They're just my city is trash, and I should probably you know invest some time there so I can you know use them for the ability material events. But uh, priorities, right? I'm I'm going for those space characters. Well, I mean, if you if you farmed space right off the bat, you wouldn't be in this bind. Uh, yes, I would because the farm for these characters is atrocious. <laughs> I've been doing it. I know but it's awful. It's <laughs> awful. In but fact, I mean, just like I just, you know, I, so I was actually thinking about this the other day, and there is a character that I have been farming since literally when we started this game. What was it? March was when the game like actually officially launched, or was it February? I don't uh, remember. It was the beginning of the year. It's been a while. It's and. It's that same month that I started, I unlocked this character's node and I started farming them immediately. They are still only at six stars uh, from burn, a hard node. Burn, burn Toasty says that it was uh, that it was February. So February. Yeah. It, it yeah. was like so like it was right when when everything was going to crap with the world. <laughs> yes, yes. But I've been farming this character since February, Paul. February, and they're still only at six stars. I immediately went after uh, Spaceman Reed and Locust, and Locust is now sitting, I'm looking at it right now, Locust is now sitting at 49 of 150. Yeah, like, it just is, like, you know, we're how many months into this game, and I'm only just now about to take my second character to seven stars. Yeah, oh, and by the way, um, Game Loft, if you'd like to replace this, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, I mean, I've got... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I, please take yeah. replace that. I yeah. will gladly. The, I, I would love out. to see the content creator allow us to have a little bit of goodies to to. That'd be cool. You know, give out. I, I would like swag. Swag would be nice. <laughs> so, um, no. By the way, I was meaning the pop socket, not the phone. <laughs> Although I will take that, but I'm pretty sure phones a little bit. <laughs> Once you redirect that phone, the money towards a phone to like get another IP or something. Like, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, which we'll be talking about that IP. We teased it last week. We have confirmation. Essentially, we we knew we had confirmation last week, but confirmation on everything that's coming um, yes. is is going to be dropping. Um, but no, I, I'm for for me, my journey this week was finally beating um part five of Pip Town United. Yes, that's awesome. Very, very because good. Because all my space are explorers, yes. not builders. Yes. So what have you been using as a as your builder group? My builder group, believe it or not. And ignore Cactus Girl because she was a uh, she. I just touched the middle one. Was Spooky Girl, Zane, Ash, Zombie, and Poppy. That's an interesting group. I beat it. I did say Poppy. That's interesting. Poppy is the best builder hero that I can get right now. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I guess that you can get without putting any actual work. I, so I, I, what I was that supposed to, to mean? Out. Well, I, so like putting any actual work in, like a, you know, a, a, a synergized, you know, team. I, I got through. I, I finished Pip Town United this past week or last week, whenever it was, and I used my castle team with my, you know, shiny new Basil, who is now fully maxed out. All of his abilities are finished. He's gear six. He's sitting at five stars, so, like, I'm pretty happy with where he's at. So he's, you know, hanging out for a while. You can use him. I have him as my shared character. You should use him. I, I will I will, I will make sure that I do. And actually, I yeah. probably did. Probably. I probably did, because that's how I got through, like, the first three tiers. Then when I got to, when I got to um, point five, the mm -hmm. one that I needed the pretzels from in order to level 
uh, in order to gear up um, Dwayne, who I max geared as well. Hey, gear six. Gear six for Dwayne. Um, just wait till I get the big Kelvin. You guys are going to be using her all the time. Kelvin. <laughs> um, but I took, I took, uh, I took in Basil every single time. I was like, <laughs> Basil. <laughs> Yep. Basil. <laughs> yep, 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 absolutely. Well, I mean, that's why I put him there, right? Because I know that a lot of people in our guild um, don't have him as high as I do. So I put him in my little shared spot there. And that's good. So I've got him and I've got Scarlet, I think. And your help, not your help got me to the point where I was able to gold everything as well. Not just... Uh, uh, not just uh, pass. Good. That's a good thing. Bis uh, Biscuit Weasel says, Pretzels, what kind of game uses food for gear? Uh, oh, yeah, Pac there's all kinds of stuff. Pac-Man does. Pac-Man. There's pretzels, there's shields, there's little pistols, there's all kinds of fun stuff, Biscuit. You should play. <laughs> he did play, and then he gave up on us, remember? Oh, how dare you. We still love you, though, Biscuit. We do, we do, absolutely. So let's see where my space is at, because I told you I'm working on space. Yeah, you're working on space. So, so they're all officially gear six. There you go. Uh, Reed has his ability materials fully fully finished. I'm just farming him at this point. I'm at 52 tiles of 100. Okay. And I'm only hitting one of his nodes a day. Gotcha. Instead of both. Uh, locust, let's see here. Uh, locust, I'm You can at hit a one bunch of, of locust tiers. I, I, I'm only hitting one. I'm only doing one. Um, and I'm still working on his, his ability stuff. So um, he's not fully maxed there yet. Uh, Kelvin, she's at 12 out of 75. So I'm also farming her one node every day. But she's gear six? She's gear six. They're all gear six that I have unlocked. Um, and then her ability materials, again, still work in there. Uh, Dwayne, he's also gear six. I haven't started farming him yet. Because I am using some of my monolith energy to farm the green ability mats every day. So that's where that energy is going. For so once me, I finished, yeah, so once I finish one of the other ones, I will uh, sub in Dwayne. For me, I'm using my arena tokens to get Dwayne. Um, yes, yeah, I'm committed. So I, I am working on Lloyd with my arena uh, materials. I'm trying to get Lloyd to five stars. Understandable. And then once I get Lloyd to five stars, I'll start using it for Dwayne. You know, once you get to Lloyd to five stars, um, what we're going to be talking about later is going to come out, and then it's not going to matter. That's very true, but I would still like to have him. <laughs> uh, Burn Toasty says they're at 198 tiles for Reed, and he's five star. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. You got uh, That means that you only got 52 to go. Very nice. You only got 52 I to, to go. For a week. Oh, looks like he was having issues connecting. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know, it. Uh, the The Microsoft Store version uh, had problems um, for me as well for a little bit, um, but I initially started it on my phone. Um, I do have the Blue Stacks version. I and by the way, if you're listening to this and you're considering using Blue Stacks to get the game on your on your Microsoft computer. I don't recommend it. Uh, Burn Toasties is saying they're using an emulator now. I have more problems, or I, I should say I had more problems before I really upgraded the RAM in the streaming computer right here. Um, until then. So, yeah. I use it on my phone. Yeah. I, I, play, I play mainly on my phone. I'll yeah. bring it up on the, uh, on the computer when uh when we start streaming if they ever give us the content creator program info <laughs> we're waiting for that email uh will tell us we're in we're still waiting yes please i think i think it'll be soon though because yeah they um, did he did say it was going to be soon yeah i think it, he, i think he actually said in the q a that um more information was going to be coming TM, i i asked means. a certain question um yeah he there. said yeah, he's it's it's one of the questions and answers that we've got uh, loaded up. He said it's uh, TM, whatever that means, trademarked, uh, or maybe or tomorrow. tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, uh, it's excellent. 
Um, <laughs> uh, Biscuit and uh, Dr. Feelgood. And it, for, for those on the YouTube version, we, uh, we of course, air this uh, first on Twitch for 24 hours. Um, and Biscuit and Dr. Feelgood are putting Sheepy all over. <laughs> all over the chat inside the game. If you're a Reality Skewed Gamers fan, you know who Sheepy is. All right. Um, so what else uh, What else were we going to talk about before we take our break and then come back with the Q&A? So let's... I figured it would be cool to, if we could go over the... Um, the the way that they kind of announced all of the different minifigs and you know that whole you know which which what the five minifigs we're actually getting are we essentially they essentially played who's that pokemon with us they did it was awesome i thought it was so fun it was but like you extremely didn't know who obvious. they were <laughs> it was extremely obvious in the hints who it was but like you technically didn't know who it was it was really really cool oh i didn't need the hints i did not I know need, you didn't the, need hints. the hints because Although, to be honest, I knew the first one from the hair. I was like, that's Bill Murray hair. You did say that's Bill Murray <laughs> hair. And yes, hang on. That's Dan Aykroyd. There we go. Here's here's Bill Murray. Yep. Yeah. Bill Murray hair. There, there's, there's Bill yeah, Murray. Right. You have the actual minifigures, so like, I you do. didn't need the, the hints at all. <laughs> I, well, I mean, I also grew up looking at them. So, so you know, it, we, we had Bill Murray right away. Then the next one was Ray, Ray Stance. After that, we got Winston Stedimore. Then they gave us Egon Spengler. Yep. And then I don't have Slimer. I don't have the firehouse myself. I do but not have the, the firehouse one. myself. But the last character was Slimer, which is the one I guessed last week. It, I didn't guess Slimer. I guessed the green guy. The green guy. And I was right. <laughs> you were right. And now where did I put... I don't know where I put the actual Ecto-1. You had it Oh, last there it week. is. There it is. I have so much little toys around my thing. Then today, just today, guys. Just today. Just today, they announced in game. that the set... It was in-game, the announcement. In-game. In they announced that the set will be the Ecto-1. Also, like we speculated. Oh, just, just like we... Well, I, we, we I, I, I speculated the firehouse. True. True. I speculated the firehouse. You speculated that it would be the car. I don't need to watch the movie. I got it. <laughs> so... Yeah, we, we have, uh, we, we're very excited, and and if you do get the Ecto-1, uh, I don't even know if they still sell it, but you get the nice little little um, way to display all your minifigs. So, yeah, all, ever a lot of the, like, ideas, sets, and stuff like that do come with those little, like, you know, the display of the minifigures and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> How hard will the Ghostbusters be to get? We're going to get into that. We're we are. absolutely going to get into that because we have some information from the Q&A. Yeah, we it do. was a, it was a good amount of information from the Q&A and it was fun. It was it was a fun like I really like, you know, doing the Q&As with them cuz it's it's they have like a whole bunch of like, you know, GLs and and devs in there and they're like all answering questions and they're all like, you know, interacting with the chat and it's not always questions like, you know, people will make offhanded comments and they'll like grab it and like comment on your offhanded comment and make fun of you and it's 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 just a fun time it's it's like super entertaining it, it, it they, they they basically gave us an hour yeah a they, whole hour of, of their time dedicated to us which was great and, and um <laughs> and, and teasing at kelvin being uh um that they're gonna nerf kelvin yeah they're gonna nerf kelvin or or somebody asked if kelvin had an ultimate and they said, yes, it destroys your entire team. It <laughs> right. kills your entire team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day that uh, Kelvin will. I, I'm, I'm, please, Gameloft, we know you're watching. Please, for the love of Pete, don't make, and I know some of you played that other space game. Do not make Kelvin the cup of Swaga. No. Uh, or like of uh, Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. 
they they did say that they were working on the reworks for a whole bunch of space characters, so that's good. They did. That is very true. Which is very good. So, um, I, I'll, I'm going to touch on the question that was posed. I'm going to touch on the question that was posed by Mustang Groot. Why does every developer communicate better than CG? I, I'm going to touch on that. CG communicates well, but Capital Games cannot communicate on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which is a game that's alike this, without the approval of two major players in the entertainment industry, and that would be Lucas and, uh, essentially, Disney, and... Electronic Arts. So, that that's something that came to me <laughs> the other day. The communication can only go as far as the allowed communication from up above. That's why I think that we haven't had Will yet. I, I think Will's waiting on some things to go through. The, uh, yeah. go through. Um, we do look forward to having him on. We even talked to, uh, we, we even joked with Abbott. Um, yes. that he should come on the show and he said he'd never get us he'd, he, we would never get him to shut up and that's fine he can sit here and talk in his little French accent all day I'd be happy <laughs> so alright we are uh, we're coming up on uh, 20 minutes and uh, we, we usually like to try to keep this uh, keep this show to about 45 to an hour at most um, we've got a lot of stuff coming up and I don't want to have to cut it short coming up after this break um, anything, anything before we go to the break, Llama? No, no, just, just stay in your seats because we got a, a ton of information and a ton of goodies to get through. So, um, just definitely looking forward to the next segment. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. After this, we break down the Q and A from Gameloft and Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed about Ghostbusters Unboxed. Unboxed. <laughs> right after these messages right here on the the Escape Lego Legacy podcast. Have you been interested in getting items 3D printed but haven't wanted to buy one of those expensive printers? Are you looking for a literally one-of-a-kind tech gift gadget? Evil Genius 3D Printing and Gadgets is your one-stop shop for both of those items. Nerd-owned and Escape Pod approved, put Lenny the Evil Genius to work for you. If you can dream it, he could possibly make it. Contact Lenny at EvilGenius3DPrinting at gmail.com for more information. That's EvilGenius3DPrinting at gmail.com. Get something unique in your hands. Hey there, Padawans. Lego Llama here. I interrupt this regularly scheduled break to give you a quick vocab lesson. First, I must let you know that Paul, the Zed, and the Llama are big affles. That stands for adult fan of Lego, by the way. And we, along with Neil, are playing Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. Not only are they playing it, but Neil and Paul have been releasing a Lego Legacy version of the Escape Pod cast every week on their YouTube channel. Visit the channel for more information. Neil knew it. He is surrounded by assholes. See you on the web. And welcome back to this week's edition of the Escape Pod Lego, uh, the Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed Escape Podcast. I, I, I say it different ways each and every time. We need to figure out a way of what the official title of this is. It's the Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed edition of the Escape Pod cast. There we go. That, that'll be the official way that I say it from now on. All right. The most important question in the Q&A was asked by somebody named Paul Anthony Escape Pod. Was Reed originally supposed to be Benny? And you won no. the bet. No. You won the bet. He no, they liked the red guy. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. I didn't want to win, but, you know. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. 
so um this they 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 attempted to <laughs> uh keep it all ghostbusters related and they did really well until like the end <laughs> that is true <laughs> that is true so we were told um we were told that we're getting the gift of let me pull it up again here we're getting a gift when the event goes live of the ecto 1 so if you log in you will get a set of the Ecto-1 in honor of when Ghostbusters goes live. Yes, and I did do a quick Google. You cannot purchase that set anymore from LEGO. You can't. It has been vaulted. You can probably get it on eBay or other sites, but I you can't buy it on LEGO. So for those of you who don't have it, unlike Paul, you will get to relive the experience of actually building it. Actually, it was a really, really fun, uh, fun build. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the the whole the top itself. I know this isn't going to translate very well, but the top is so detailed. Yeah. I hope that they keep the detail on this top in in the whole build of it. <laughs> I really, really do. Let me put that back up there. So, um, and before we get uh get on Spike the Ecto. No, oh, no, I am not going to spike the Ecto. I don't have a million uh, channel point uh, redemption for that. And I only, and, and Biscuit Weasel, on your channel, I say to drop. I don't tell you to spike it. <laughs> All right. Burnt Toasty says they will 100% honor the Ecto one. I, I really I do so. hope so. I um. So. So we, we found out all this. Uh, they said, what sort of event are we going to have? You want to go ahead with that? Yeah, sure. So it's so basically it's going to be a series of events kind of rolled up into one big like celebration, right? So we're getting two unboxed events. We're getting one brick pace event and we're getting one master event. And that will give us the entire group of five. Yeah. So... Yeah, go ahead. So from what I'm uh, from what I'm guessing, according to the way that it was uh, explained later on, is that we are going to get. Let me let me get them. Yep, yep. So Peter and Ray are going to be our two unboxed. So I think I think we're getting Peter and Ray in the unboxed because we were told later on, and I know I'm skipping ahead all the way down to the bottom on this one. We were told that Peter and Ray will unlock at one star. Yes. So, um, at, at, with Peter and Ray unlocking at one star, I really think that is how we're going to enjoy, um, enjoy Ghostbusters. Now, of course, there's more. Let's, let's, uh... There is more. So there's one brick pace event and then one master event. So I know what all of you are saying. You're saying, Llama, there's five characters and four events. Yeah, somebody asked that question. Somebody asked that question a lot. They did. They did. So, and then they told us that the brick pace is going to be a two-tiered event. Oh, no, 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 no. Not this again. Because yes. with the tyranny and governor yes, non-such, yes. I, no. So that was the reaction that everybody had was like, no, but they reassured us that they know that everybody hated the way that that event was, was set up. They know that we didn't like it. They didn't like it too much either. So they reworked it and reconfigured it to be better. Okay. Well, <laughs> I could tell you that if they reworked and reconfigured it to be better, it is the good news because they said that Winston and Egon would be unlocked at two star. Yeah, so I'm I'm guessing that Winston is going to be the first level and Egon is going to be the second level. And there's a reason for that. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The reason the reason is that Egon has the ultimate ability. So yes. there's one ultimate ability on the team, and Egon has it. So I think that Winston's going to be the first part, and Egon's going to be the second part. 
All right. So you said, and, and you're pointing out that when that Egon has the um, ability, we're kind of jumping around the Q and A. We're we're kind of uh, relaying to you guys in a in a nutshell of everything that was said, and then we'll go back and make sure that we have covered everything that they gave out. Yep. Um, Egon's ultimate ability, they called it "Cross the Streams." The ultimate ability being cross the streams. Now, remember, don't cross the streams. It's bad. Don't cross the streams. Apparently, don't that's cross bad. the streams. I don't know why. It could be very bad. Very, very bad. Um, and so we're we're going to be the ultimate of crossing the streams. I, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you, but crossing the streams was a MacGuffin. You'll figure that out when you watch the movie. Uh, but we also got the sad news that there will not be any Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. There will not be. No I just Puff remembered that I do have a Slimer. Do you? I have a Slimer in my uh, di uh, Lego Dimensions uh, collection. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do have a Slimer out there. Well, when we cover the event, you can, you'll have to... I will, I will bring Slimer out for that, event. yes. Yep. So we're not so getting Stay Puft. Not getting Stay Puff, but the Master Event, we are going to get Slimer in the Master Event. Yeah, we get Slimer in the Master Event, uh, because, and he is going to be a five-star unlock. Yep. They do not forecast that many people are going to get this Slimer no, because uh, minifig, because it is not impossible, but it's fairly difficult. It's difficult, and so it can be done with a fully five-star... Ghostbusters team. Now they didn't specifically say that you needed a five star set, but I'm assuming you would need a five star set. As I, well. I I believe so. But uh, but so they said that it's it's very beatable when you have the full five star um, five star team. But the, all of these events are taking place within one month, so everything from start to finish is going to be one month long. So it's going to be really, really difficult to get everything where they need to be for that master event. Now, they did say that the brick pace was going to be a little bit longer than they normally are. Yeah. Which is good. So, so I think the... things will be released in a month. Yeah. In a month period, but they're going to extend beyond the month. But we do know that unboxed events hang around for about, what, five days? Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, and then brick pace events, usually a week, usually a week. I think they're going two weeks. They're probably going to go two weeks. <laughs> and then the master event, I think will hit. And then you'll have about a week to do that. Just yep. like with woo. Yep. Just like with woo. And just like with, um, no, it's just woo. Yeah. It's just woo so far. Just woo so far. Yep. Uh, yep. Gromwell later. Uh, <laughs> that's what, at least, you know, that's what I understood. Now. Um, which tags will the Ghostbusters have? All Ghostbusters will have Explorer and Ghostbuster tags. They will also have individual tags that allow them to synergize with other minifigs, which, I mean, I think that's kind of neat. We found out that, uh, who, somebody said it. Uh, let me, let me, uh, let me see if I could search for it here. They they released. Uh, oh, you didn't get the uh, you didn't get the the uh, uh, QA where somebody mentioned. Uh, let me see if I could find it. Go ahead and uh, read on the next one. Sure, sure. Um, so what tags will the Ghostbusters have? Is Ecto One the only Ghostbusters set? Yes, they're only releasing one set, so Ecto One is the only set we're gonna get. Um, so how will the new minifigures be farmable? So they did say that all of the minifigures um, in the Unbox event, the both of them in the Brick Pace event, and the set are going to be farmable in the Brick Pace stores. So the event store that comes around with the Brick Pace events, you will be able to use your event currency for those characters to farm them simultaneously. Here we, here we go. Um, will Egon have a space tag? Um uh, the the big stupid Karstovsky Stan uh, asked that in the Q and A. 
Um, so Egon will not have space, but he will have techie. But they said no more spoilers after that. No. So we, we did get a spoiler that uh, Egon will be techie. Techie. I'll take it. I, I will certainly I will take also that. Take it. I, I doubt we'll get it. any space for uh, for Ghostbusters. No, I don't think so either. Uh, Biscuit Weasel says, since they're all getting a Ghostbusters tag, do you anticipate more Ghostbusters coming to the game? I don't. I don't think so. Um, and, and we'll we'll get into uh, we'll definitely get into why in a moment. Um, they they finally answered my question about the Ecto One. Where yeah. is the Ecto One going to be in a neighborhood? And they said all uh, they were going to make a I uh, you know outside intellectual property and outside IP neighborhood. So yeah, that's I what was we, right. That's what we were, yeah, that's what we were saying. Yes, very very awesome. Yeah. And then so they also gave us kind of uh, the roles of each of the the figs, right? So so Peter Venkman is going to be an attacker. Um, Ray Stance is going to be a support hero. Winston's going to be a tank. Uh, Egon's going to be a support hero as well. And Slimer is also going to be another attack hero. Yeah, and Slimer will also have a Ghostbusters uh, yeah. tag. And I'm sure that he will have a spooky tag. Uh, I would not be surprised if he if, if he did have a spooky tag. And they did say that he, he was a friend to the Ghostbusters, not a foe to them. So he will not hurt them being on the team. He will help them. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be great if they have to take down Spooky Girl in the Master Event? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm curious to see, like, I'm excited to see what the, the, the storyline of the event is. We should just start recording them. And just yeah, start. We, we, uh, yeah. So, so Will, I, I know you're you're seeing how we're we're breaking this down right now. Once again, this is our plea to get a creator account, or at least you know just just a just a chance to relive everything or to live everything that's coming up, especially so we so Llama and I can provide these voices. We want yes. to voice the game for you. Yes, and not just us, right? Like, it would be super fun to get, you know, Bricko and Sicko and, you know, some of the other, you know, content get, creators would, involved. That'd get be great. Gritos, get some of our some of our uh, Padawans as well. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. That'd be so awesome. I'd be down. 100%. <laughs> it's a community event, and we build communities. That's what yes. the Escape Pod castaways are all about. Absolutely. Uh, when's the update going to happen? Don't know. It's in QA. <laughs> it is in QA. They say soon, uh, depending how it goes, it's hard to give a specific date, but they want it out as fast as possible. Yes. Um, so four events and uh, for five characters in a set. They, they, they mentioned that. But people were also saying, wait a minute, there's only, you know, there's only four Ghostbusters to take down five. Yes. So, yes. you, you, don't you need five characters? And they said, "Yeah, well, Quality Assurance uh, was able to fix that. <laughs> yeah, we are there. Yeah. We're now able to take a undersized team into a master event in order to unlock a character." Yes. Um. So yeah, just over a month is when they said, "Will there be an ultimate?" There is bonus damage if they'll just dodge anyway. That was that was fun. Um. Will you be giving content creators info about Ghostbusters to make content on or just keep us in the dark? And uh, Will said, well, Greedos, <laughs> content creators will be hearing from us soon. Yeah. Yep, so yep. we look so, forward so, to that. Yeah. So like one big um, thing that they did mention that I don't think we've talked about, and they said it in the, the splash screen in the game that they did to announce that the event was coming is that the Ghostbusters will be a great counter to Ninjago teams. Finally. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, I don't know about your, your you know, arena, but, I mean, my, the top of mine is just chock full of Ninjago. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still sitting in my thousand, you know, hovering around a thousand right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's from, like, the top, like, 250 and up is, like, Nothing but Ninjago, so I will be very happy to hopefully get these uh, these guys and, and be able to kind of soar my way up to the top. 
<laughs> um, so they also asked how Ghostbusters will be against pirates. And they, um, Thor uh, Thorak Scar Scadriel. Hopefully Scadriel. I said that right. Um, it's a pretty fair fight between Ghostbusters and pirates. It's about a coin flip. 50-50. Yeah. Um, everything except for Slimer will be farmable in the Brick Space store. Yes. So that yeah. is, that's going to be, uh... That's going to be excellent. Um, why is it good against Ninjago? Because Egon will have an ability that will increase based on how many people are stealthed on the other team. So you take that into a, uh, um, who, is that a Lloyd fight? Oh yeah, definitely a Lloyd fight. <laughs> and it's over. Um, how can you run a master event with only four units? That was a fun discussion we had when we brought it up to the programmers. <laughs> yeah, I love that answer. That was so funny. Um, but you know, there was what? Where else was it? Um, I just passed it up. I was I was playing around and and scrolled a little too far. Um, I don't remember where it was. Oh, here it is. How long have you been working on this whole Ghostbusters thing? Um. And Abix said, well, licensing-wise, talking with Sony, almost a year. Design-wise, they wanted, uh, they started just a bit before the release of the game. And they finally have, have gotten it to this point. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like, it, it really kind of puts into perspective, um, you know, the, the, the length of time it takes to do some of this stuff. Yeah. So, uh, since, since a little bit before the release... I'm going to let let's play uh, let, let's play devil's advocate here and give them the shortest time period. They've been working on this. If this is February now, they've been working on it for six months. Yep. Yeah, and they did say that they're not obviously working <coughs> full time on it um, because they they were dealing with the launch of the game. You know, a little bit took a little bit more of a priority um, <laughs> than than a future IP release. But um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, I think you know about six months. They, somebody did sneak in a question about, what about raids? When can we expect that information? And Will said, not this update. They're hard at work um, uh, on it and asked this when they have their next Q&A. So the next Q&A is going to be raids. Well, the next, I don't think it's going to be raid specific. I think it's a general Q&A. But I think that because this was still towards the beginning of this Q&A, they were trying to direct people to uh, Ghostbusters only questions, which wasn't necessarily super successful towards the end as, as you'll see but um so i let's let's kind of touch on this because there were a lot of questions surrounding this kind of aspect of like so obviously they're ghostbusters right like they fight ghosts so they it makes sense for them to be a counter to the spooky faction mm -hmm. so it's you know, they, everybody was like, what's, what's the details on the anti spooky synergies? Like, what do you, what kind of things do you have in place? And so each of the, the minifigures has a special call out in their abilities, um, that, that goes against, that goes directly against spooky characters, which, which is pretty neat. And I mean, it makes sense, right? Like they can't put a Ghostbusters team and not have them go against spooky characters. Like, yeah. Any concerns about releasing a spooky counter before most people even get spooky, no um, though. And he said, well, we couldn't make Ghostbusters and not make them a spooky counter, but they're aware of the point. So they made sure that they were going against Ninjago and decent against pirates. So It was uh, it was quite uh, quite interesting. <laughs> Doctor Feelgood says it'd be hilarious if uh, if Gameloft gets Lego Star Wars in the game and they make a Death Star raid before <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Oop! Yikes! Yikes! Uh, yikes! Um, but so so people were kind of worried about like you know putting this counter out there, and they did kind of assure us that you know they it's never their intention to you know have one faction just kind of come in and bulldoze over everybody they do want like a balance so it's it's cool to hear that they're like super invested and thoughtful about like you know the things that they release in the game yeah uh for for our streaming friends who are who uh, are looking to play this game uh there is some licensed uh licensed music um in the game 
and you can get dinged if you're playing it on YouTube, uh, streaming, or, or Twitch, possibly. Uh, but they said, if Ghostbusters music gets added, will there be a way to turn off the licensed music to get less copyright claims? And Abix stepped in and said, unfortunately, they weren't able to get Ray Parker's Ghostbusters as part of the licensing deal. But if you are a content creator, stay tuned for the next patch notes to know more about streamer settings. So it looks like, the, to, to me, that sounds like the content creator program is literally right around the corner. Yes. Yeah. And, and you asked that. You, you straight up asked that question and um, completely, like, called them out on it. Let me find it because <laughs> I want to I read it. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, content creator. Um, will you be giving content creator? Uh, this was my question. Will you be giving content creators info about Ghostbusters to make content on, or just keep it? Uh, no, no, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. No, that was that wasn't Greedos. The um, since you're dropping a whole bunch of new content, nope. Where is it? It was something along the lines of like, will the content creator program and Ghostbusters? be rolling out simultaneously. simultaneously yeah that 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 is what uh, that is what the question was I, I did i was like wouldn't it be great to to roll out both of these together at the same time so the content creators could hype up the thing oh, here it he is here like, it is excellent not, point yeah it was not sure how to exactly ask the question but by chance could the content creator program and the ghostbusters rollout be tied hand in hand I know llama and I are looking for ways to spread more llhu content around and waf said you might be on to something there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I loved that answer. Will's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, his answers are funny. Um, but I mean, there's so much coming to this game. Yes. Um, that 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 we're going to be seeing in in the future. Um, they were asked about more IPs, and another one that came up. Another one that came up is. Will the re will the success of this re uh, IP release dictate what other IPs you get in the future? Yes. And they were straight up honest. They, they said, did. "Yeah, I, probably." Yeah, they said I'd be. Yeah, little wooden boy said I'd be lying if I said no. But I will say that we are actively pursuing the next couple of IPs as we speak. Yeah, and they did. Oh, this is something we didn't cover earlier. What? We had a survey. Oh yeah, the survey. How do we not cover the survey? I don't know, but the, don't know. Uh, for people that are like, "Well, do you think they're going to bring this? Do you think they're going to bring that?" That they released a survey that essentially said, "You know, are you?" <laughs> essentially, to what it meant to me was, "Are you an a fool? <laughs> What's your yeah, age?" Was, yeah, <laughs> I was uh -huh. like, "Old fart." Uh huh. Um. And then they ta they talked about you know what would you like to see what would you uh, um, what would you like to uh, or what sets do you have you collected what's your favorite set Yeah yeah it was it was it was a cool survey because they it, it's very clear that they're and like they did say that like they want to have a balance right of like IPs and like traditional Lego content so so this survey was kind of all mostly about what you know lego content and you know lego series do you enjoy and want to see in the game and then they asked a couple questions about like ips and things like that um but it was it was fairly mostly geared towards that original lego content and, and it makes sense yeah. right like it it's it's so much easier for them to get approval on content that is specifically lego content versus outside ips like yeah, when when they're when they have to go out and they have to get things like, for example, Benny, that that would have to be a deal with Warner Brothers, <laughs> to get uh, to get anything Batman. That would be a deal with DC to get anything, uh, to get anything from uh, from Jurassic Harry Potter, Park. To get anything that would be from Universal. Park. Yeah, so like, there's you know, it's 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 a big. It's a big uh, process for them. Yeah, they did ask. Um, I think they asked what was what was the first 
Lego set you remember having. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I was honest. I remember having the old pirate ship. The old, there you go. The one with the, the, the cannons that you could pull back and shoot. Yep, I was uh, honest with they... mine too. I was honest with mine too. Mine was the uh, the the, and I've talked about this before. Mine was the uh, the OG Harry Potter knife bus that I still have, like you know, put together in in my spare room. Yep, I I really need to go. I need to move all the stuff and get into that closet and pull out the uh, pull out the shop corner or the corner shop. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those <laughs> are so much fun. But I can't replace the stuff back here, and if I cover up the, you know. Yeah, can't do that. Yeah, I can't do it's that. Okay, <laughs> it's okay though. Right. But uh, yeah, so so the reveals, and I'm and I'm gonna display some pictures on the screen. So we we know that we have Peter Venkman here. Yep. Um, Peter Venkman was the first one that they released. Then they came. Then they showed up um, with Ray Stance. Um, we we're excited to to see Ray. Winston, I wasn't sure if it was going to be Winston or if it was uh, if it was going to be one of the female Ghostbusters. I wasn't sure at this point. I wasn't. I didn't know that they were one hundred percent the classic original Ghostbusters. But mm-hmm. seeing Winston in this was uh, definitely awesome to see. And then, of course, we have the quote. If if this game had any leaders, you know, he would absolutely be the leader. And then, and, course, and they said that he was going to be the closest healer that the team had. Yeah, yeah. So and I he, think I think it'll end up having something to do with his ultimate. His ultimate will have some sort of a healing. I don't know. When you cross the streams, it beca- it's very bad, very very bad. Um, and then you guessed the little green guy. You guessed. I Slimer. did. I did guess Slimer. So, so there you go. Um. We're we're excited that that all those we we wanted to share the pictures that that um, Game Loft had supplied to uh, to the community, we and hopefully we'll guys. be getting a content creator pack with those sometime shortly. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. They also said that sh- that most likely next week we are gonna they're gonna drop the kits for all of the characters. So next week for next week's show, hopefully we will have the kits. Oh, I would love to review these kits with you. Yeah. Especially uh, to possibly even theory craft. Oh yeah. Uh, what what you know what more damage you can do with basil? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love my basil. Um. So they they went through. You can't have the Ghostbusters without Slimer. That is absolutely true. But honestly, yeah. in my opinion, you can't have Ghostbusters two without Vigo. They they did say that at this time they've got no more. So like someone asked like if the event was gonna be kind of have like some of those like villains and stuff um, from the the movies, and they did say no, unfortunately. Yeah. So so we're not getting cool. Gozer. We're not getting the Keymaster. We're not getting the Gatekeeper. We're not, uh, you know, I've already mentioned the the key master. We're not getting Lewis Tully. I would love to have a minifigure Rick Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, what other ones? Uh, what Ghostbusters character is the best? Slimer is the toughest of the bunch, but Egon is the minifig that ties all the Ghostbusters together. Um... Is the hub world? Oh, this is this is this is probably the last question we'll we'll get to, and then we're yeah. gonna tie it up here. Um, they did say, is the hub or world gonna change like uh, like Wu and DigiJ when that came out? And they said, it is, uh, which is awesome. I'm excited for it. That was like so cool when like <laughs> everything changed. It was like I was like so excited when you log in the game. Like at first you think it's like broken, and then you're like, oh no, wait, like this is special. <laughs> Yeah, I I, <laughs> I geeked out for for DigiJ when they changed that. Hey, it was so, so cool because like it was just so immersive, right? Like, and it was like fourth wall breaking. A- anything that breaks the fourth wall in a game that this game no, isn't just serious. Period. Just period. Like anything that breaks the fourth wall. Period. That's why I loved Deadpool so much. Like the Deadpool movies, because like he's just. It was just so funny. Bre- breaking the fourth wall, it can get distracting at times, but when it's used right, like it was in Deadpool and like it was in the DigiJ event, yeah. spot on. Spot on to your A script plus. writers. Uh, absolutely. 
Well, that is going to wrap it up. Uh, we have to uh, clear the way and get ready for uh, GA Center, which is coming up in just under an hour. Yeah. Uh, with Flair and Neil. Um, and if you're on YouTube it will, and you're watching this right away, that will post in an hour from then because we yep, give Twitch 24 hours. hours of exclusivity to our shows. Yep. Um, but we're really excited for this, guys, um, if you can't tell. We will oh, have yeah. more information as more information comes comes across the wire. Um, anything that you want to say before we wrap it up, Llama? Uh, no, just just make sure that you keep an eye out for for you know a lot of the great content that's going to be coming out over the next couple of days. There's some really awesome theory crafters like Bricko, like Sicko, and and they're going to be coming out with some pretty cool stuff. So uh, just make sure you keep an eye out for for you know those other content creators. We like to support you know the community here, so um, you know make sure you keep an eye on that for the next couple of days. Yeah. It's, it's going to be an excellent, excellent time. Well, yeah. guys, um, that will do it for us this week. We will be back as soon as possible. Not next week, as far as we're concerned. We will be back next week with more information on anything and everything that we can release. Hopefully um, with kits. Hopefully kits. <laughs> hopefully patch notes as well. Oh, yeah, patch notes. Ho hopefully kits. patch notes. Um, but with that being said, guys... Please wear a mask. Keep everyone safe out there. You know, if Doc, if 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 Sam's wife can do it for eight, ten hours a day, you Triple can do layered. it to go into Walmart. Yes. <laughs> and uh, be nice to each other. Damn it, this world needs to laugh more. Because with more laughter, there'd be less hate. Yep. We thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you guys next time. Right here on the Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed Edition of the Escape Podcast. I did it! It's got a beautiful ring to it, doesn't it? it? Does. I absolutely love it. I All love right. it. Alright, I love it too. Llama, push the button. Peace, peace. Zoop.